hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love was how Nilam refused to let lakshmi return to the obray house after rishi goes to bring lakshmi back to the house and malishka cried because rishi left her in the middle of the road to go and look for lakshmi and bring her back to the house so let's continue from there ahana tried to talk to Nilam after a decision not to let lakshmi come back to the house karishma asks ahana not to say anything Grandma says even she has the right to talk and says the children have grown up now. Karishma says that she worry for the family and not for an outsider. Sonia asks that why are we fighting for outsiders and says nonsense. Ayush asks that why is Sonia talking now if the children are not allowed to talk. Ahana says I can also talk then. Karishma asks Ahana to stop. She tells her that whatever sister-in-law Nilam has decided is fine now. Mukesh bring Kalash and Auti plate and keep them on the door. Karishma asks Mukesh that who asked him to keep it. Malishka comes there and says, I told Mukesh to do it and everyone is shocked. Malishka tells everyone that she is going to do Gra Peresh today and she means to do it today. Karishma says, Malishka, you? Malishka interrupts and says, I am going to be the daughter-in-law of this house, so my Gra Peresh should be done, right? Ayu says, but you are not married yet. Ahana asks Malishka to enter just like that and says, why does she want to do drama? Nilam says to Malishka that your grand parent should happen with Rishi in a grand way and she asks her to come inside in a normal way today. Malishka comes inside and asks Nilam to stop her acting. She says, why do you people talk about the thing that you are not going to do? And everyone is shocked. Malishka shouted and says, Nilam auntie did so much pretending with her. Karishma asks Malishka to behave herself. Malishka says behave. She says she is just behaving since day one, but others don't behave with her. And she shouted at Karishma, while Ayush is happy to see Malishka's drama and his smiles. At the temple, Rishi tells Lakshmi that neither God nor he will agree to her words. Lakshmi refused. Rishi says, I will get you married to a nice guy and then you can go with him. Lakshmi says, who are you to decide about me? And she started walking away. Rishi says, okay. I will also do like you have done. I will complain to God and he bang his head on the temple bell. Lakshmi come back and stop Rishi and she put her hand to save Rishi. Rishi asks if anything is left between them. Then why did you put your hand to save me? He says you were asking what relationship we have and says we have deep relationship of care and concern which nobody can break, neither you nor me and not even my family. Malishka tells Karishma that your son Ayush stand holding sword on my head and your daughter Ahana did not leave any chance to humiliate me. Malishka says there is nothing like before and she asks them to behave because she is also just behaving. She says I will call Virendra uncle as Virendra sir and she says that grandma gives her lecture about others every day. Malishka says that Auntie Karishma talks sweet, that Rishi is made for me and she asks her to see where she is today. She says Nilam showed her fake dreams. She says where is Rishi and says she has come here now and Rishi has not married her. She asks if anyone asks Rishi to behave. Malishka shouted that Rishi says that he loved me and he married Lakshmi and then he took divorce from Lakshmi and he promised to marry me and then he ran behind Lakshmi again even though they are no more married. She says Rishi doesn't care for me and he is worried for Lakshmi. She says I'm just behaving. I was doing Gra Peresh alone because nothing is left for me. Malishka says to Nilam and Karishma that if you ask me to die, then I will die. Nilam asks her not to say anything. Malishka says I will behave with myself and I will not commit suicide. She asks them not to show fake concern for her and she asks Nilam to support Rishi and stop pretending. Malishka says to Nilam that you will pretend that you are against Rishi's decision, then you will melt down and support him again. She says, I want to shout and break things, but I cannot break things because this house or the family is not mine. Ayu says this girl has gone mad and she tells her that if she wants to break things, then she should go to her home and break it. Karishma asks Ayush to shut up. Malishka says, you people just say shut up to Ayush or stop it Rishi, but you don't take any action. She says, you said this to Rishi many times. Did he ever stop? She says, Nilam auntie gave swear to Rishi, but yet Rishi did not stop because they are too weak to do anything. At the temple, Rishi tells Lakshmi that she is coming with him and says it is God's decision and your destiny's decision also. A lady comes there and says she knows all about them because she stays beside Rano's house. 
She says, this is the vermilion of the devil man's feet and says, God makes some relationship and he doesn't let it break. She says, when the God has made your relationship strong, then why are you complaining to God? Malishka asks Karishma and Nilam to ask Ayush if he talks like this with Lakshmi and says, no, but Ayush insult me and you people see the drama. She says, now I have understood what is Lakshmi's respect and what is mine. Virendra says, everyone is respected here and says that Lakshmi is his daughter. Malishka says, I am more than a daughter because I let Rishi marry Lakshmi for his bad luck. Malishka says later, Rishi got divorced and made me wear this ring and now what is he doing? She says Rishi will bring Lakshmi back to this house and he will make her stay here and then you all might get them remarried again. Nilam says Rishi and Lakshmi's marriage will never happen again. Malishka shouted at Nilam, asking her not to give her false hope and dreams and says it pains a lot when dreams break. Malishka says to Nilam that I am folding my hands in front of you so please stop acting. She removes the ring from her finger and she gives it in Nilam's hand. She kicks the kalash out and she angrily leaves from there. Karishma shouted Malishka and everyone is shocked at Malishka's audacity. At the temple, the lady asks Rishi to fill Lakshmi's forehead with the cinder. Then Lakshmi will not ask that who is he again and says you would also not ask why she is not coming with you again. The lady says it is God's blessings so apply it to her forehead. Rishi takes the vermilion box from the lady. The lady leaves and Rishi opens the vermilion box while a song plays in the background. Ahana says to everyone that Malishka has done so much drama and she expects to receive the same respect that we give to Lakshmi. She says Lakshmi has best so much insult but she never replied back to anyone. Ayu says we call Lakshmi's sister-in-law as inauspicious and it will humiliate her but she never say anything. And Malishka is saying this even when she is not their daughter-in-law yet and says he feels disgusted. Karishma gets angry and says enough. Rano thinks that Lakshmi has ruined everything and now she will not get anything from Nilam and Bauvinda will take back the money. She thinks if she did right by sending Lakshmi with Rishi and she asks God to save her from that monkey donkey Bauvinda. Bauvinda comes there and shouted Lakshmi. Rano says Lakshmi is not here. Shalu and Bani comes from outside and they hear them secretly. Bauvinda says to Rano that you took money from me to get married to Lakshmi and Shalu and Bani are shocked. Ahana comes to the kitchen and tells Mukesh that Lakshmi's sister-in-law is coming and she asks him to get ready the outie plate so that they can welcome Lakshmi. Mukesh and Ahana prepares the outie plate. Sonia comes there and says Lakshmi is not a devi. Ahana says she is a savior and she is good and true-hearted. Sonia says Lakshmi will never come here and mom and aunt will never let her enter. Ahana says to Sonia that grandma and uncle will let Lakshmi come in. She says I want Lakshmi's grandpa Resh to happen. Sonia says like marriage grandpa Resh. Ahana says it will be better if Rishi and Lakshmi get married again because all the problems will be solved. Sonia asks do you think that mom will let it happen and she asks Ahana to stop thinking. Ahana asks Sonia to see that Malishka's scope increases and says that Nilam will not forget Malishka's insult and she will ban Malishka's entry from this house and Sonia angrily goes from there. Ahana thinks that she has a feeling that Rishi will marry Lakshmi again and she wished that it happened soon. At the temple, Rishi opened and closed the vermilion box and he tells Lakshmi that he will not do anything against her wish and he will not do any mistake again. He says he will not commit another crime by applying the vermilion to her forehead without her permission. Lakshmi asks that why do you want to take me back home? Rishi says he doesn't want to argue with her and says it is mine and God's last decision, so come with me. Rishi says to Lakshmi that I will take you away from here, else you will ruin your life and you will hurt yourself and you will hurt others too. He says this is God's decision as well. They see a flower falling down on the goddess' feet approving Rishi's decision of taking Lakshmi back home and Rishi tells Lakshmi that it is God's decision as well. Lakshmi sprains her foot just as she walks. Rishi says you are accident prone and he makes her sit and he checks her foot. Lakshmi asks God if she should go with Rishi and she thinks if this is right. Rishi says yes, this is right. God has given us her blessings so we cannot ignore the God's blessings. Rishi and Lakshmi get up and they look at the goddess idol and pray. Rishi prays to the goddess that he never asked for anything from her before but today he is asking for Lakshmi from her 
and he asked God to give him strength so that he can fulfill all his responsibilities and keep Lakshmi happy while Lakshmi prays and asks Goddess not to give any pain to Rishi because of her. Lakshmi prays to the Goddess that if this is your decision that I should go with Rishi, then please give me strength to fulfill it. Rishi promises the Goddess that in the midst of troubles, then he will never leave Lakshmi and he will support her always and he will never leave her. Rishi lifts Lakshmi in his arms and he started walking out of the temple. Balvinda says to Rano that look at this shameless woman and says my destiny was good that I told you that I will give you the remaining money later. If not, you would have collected the whole money from me and yet I wouldn't have gotten Lakshmi. He asks Rano not to stay at him and says you had said that you would take the remaining money later and Rano asks so what? Balvinda says to Rano that it was our deal that I will give you money after I marry Lakshmi but you have betrayed me. Rano says I was betrayed as well and says you would have seen the bride's face before the marriage was completed. She asks him to run and go away from there and she pushes him. Balvinda asks Rano that where is Lakshmi? Rano says Lakshmi went with Rishi. Balvinda asks that how did Lakshmi go with Rishi when she is divorced? Rano asks if Lakshmi is a small girl to obey me and she asks Balvinda to stay far from her because his mouth is thinking. Balvinda says my mouth will stink when I will kill you and small insect will be on you and you will stink, then your neighbors will know. <laughs> Balvinda tried to suffocate Rano, but Shalu and Bani, who has been hearing their conversations, comes inside to rescue Rano. They save Rano and ask Balvinda to leave from there. Rano ate Balvinda and asks that what do you think of yourself? She says you want to marry Lakshmi and she asks if he is suitable to marry Lakshmi and she asks him to become suitable first. Rano says to Balvinda that you are more worse than a street dog. She says if you had knocked on Lakshmi's heart and made her fall in love with you, then she would have been with you. And she asks him not to show her any attitude and she threatens to send him to the police station. Bani says to Balvinda that Rishi's brother-in-law did not agree and he was sitting at the wedding altar in your place and he would have married Lakshmi if Kamli wouldn't have been seated as the bride. Balvinda is shocked and he recalls Rishi making him unconscious and Ayush making him regain consciousness so he realized that it was all their plan. Balvinda says to Bani and Shalu that they are fraud family playing one bomb after another. He says he will take revenge from them one by one and if he doesn't take revenge, then he is not the son of a one father. He turns to go but he falls. Shalu asks him to see himself and she asks him to stand up on his feet first and then he can threaten others. Shalu says to Balvinda that we are not scared of you because brother-in-law is with my sister. Balvinda says he will see and he goes. Rano is panting because of the suffocation and Shalu and Bani get worried for Rano. Shalu asks Bani to bring water and Bani goes to bring water for Rano. Malishka is driving a car and she sees Rishi and Lakshmi in the car. She wipes her tears. Rishi asks Lakshmi that what is she thinking? He says you might be thinking of how everyone will react in the house. He says you know well that some people in the house like you and some don't. He says I have promised to God that I will not let anything wrong happen with you and I will also not do anything wrong with you. Rishi asks Lakshmi to just look at him when someone is saying anything to her and says I will not let anything happen to you. Bani brings water and gives it to Rano. Rano throws the glass away and says you have done a big planning and she calls them clever to have planned for their sister not to get married and she says now my nearest marriage will not happen now. Rano says to Shalu and Bani that that idiot Balvinda is also after my life. Bani says to Rano that why did you initiate Lakshmi's marriage with Balvinda and then calling her clever. Rano says I talked to Balvinda because Lakshmi agreed to marry him. Bani says no. Lakshmi did not agree to marry and says you had forced her and Rano asks Bani to shut up and says she will pull her tongue. Shalu says to Rano that whatever is done is for my sister's betterment. Rano asks if she is Lakshmi's enemy. Shalu says now Lakshmi is not your body anymore because brother-in-law has taken her away. Rano says don't show me attitude and says Rishi has taken Lakshmi away and now I will see drama and I will see who will let Lakshmi enter the Obrey house. Rano says when Lakshmi was their daughter-in-law, they did not let her stay well. So how would they let her stay there now? She says I will see and she goes while Shalu and Bani looks on in shock. Well, 
it is a good thing that Malishka gave Nilam a piece of um, her own medicine to take so that she can know how bitter the medicine is. If it was supposed to be Lakshmi that did all this drama that Malishka did, everyone would have fall down. The entire Obre house, that four corner, that wall would have come down. But thank God it was her favorite daughter-in-law malishka that did it anyways thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like the video share it as well and also check the comment section for the link to the next episode and i will see you all again in my next episode thank you guys for watching bye guys